I'm starting today off with a huge milestone that I've been working on for a long time. I managed to get 79 wood cutting right alongside 80 fletching. I can now make one of the most iconic ranged weapons in the entire game. It'll be my best in slot until 70, and I'll probably still use it after that. On top of that, it feels so satisfying to get something like this done. So much flax spun. I've fletched so many bows, dude. It's gonna take five millennia to get this tree down, but when it's down, let's make a magic short bow. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are selecting the option of the magic short bow. There we go, we got the unstrung. Jam that puppy right on there. Taking it out of my ash a little bit, put it on there. That's a magic short bow, baby! I'm looking good, dude, I'm looking good. I don't know why I'm not wearing green dehyde, but uh, you, you get it, you get it, I'll go change. As you can see, we have one of the most ferocious monsters in the game. We're gonna test out the spec. Woo, god damn. That felt good. I'm so happy I'm able to do that whenever I want. These magic trees are so goddamn obnoxious. Today's episode is brought to you by NordVPN. All right, let me level with you here. There's a lot of ways to use a VPN. You can use it as a layer of security when you're Googling big boob naked or whatever you do at 1 a.m. You could juke out your ISP so they don't think about throttling you, or you could do what I do and access content on sites only available in other countries. The other day, I wanted to watch Citizen Kane, a classic, but get this, only Canada has the privilege to watch it on Netflix. Can you fathom that? During this crisis, they want to deprive us of quality films. That's awfully inconsiderate, Canada, but guess what? I don't have to move there to watch Citizen Kane. I can just say I'm connecting from Canada, clear my cache, and enjoy my goddamn movie. Yeah, I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. Assert your dominance over other countries by using code Jimmy or going to nordvpn.com slash Jimmy to get 70% off a three-year plan plus a month free. That's all I've got. Enjoy the episode. First things first, 70 attack. All I need now is 85 slayer, and I can go get a whip. Secondly, I just put together my first crystal key, which means I can open that chest in Taverly and get a dragon stone. I can cut that and make uh, a cool jewelry guy. Ideally, I would make a glory, but I think that's 80 crafting. Uh, I don't have that. That's a lot of levels to get. Just realized there's a KK slider in the top right. I do wacky things on stream. I need to- I need to settle down. God damn it, my oak tree died. Since I can't make a glory, I'm gonna make the next best thing, which is a ring of wealth. If I wear a ring of wealth, I get more key drops. More key drops means more dragon stones. More dragon stones means, uh, more incentive to get 80 crafting and get a glory. It all intertwines. A lot of productivity going on here. Hey! Well, I have it now, so let's, uh, let's go make a ring of wealth, baby! Gonna enchant it real quick, and that- Ladies and gentlemen, is a ring of wealth. I'm going to be a rich man, a rich and powerful man. I'm a good guy, and we're gonna put this to use. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Ow, I got dragon play legs, dude. That was on my fucking second kill. That's so sick. Yeah, that's right. Um, streamer, YouTuber favoritism. Very real thing. I got dragon plate legs on my second iron dragon kill of the task, which I'm really grateful for because this task on my account is terrible. Not to mention, if you had dragon plate legs in 2006, you were a god. You were a walking legend. People bowed down to you. So, you know, start doing that when you see me. On top of that, I got a runite limb drop, which means I can make a rune crossbow. This was the greatest task of all time. Yeah, I thought I was recording when I made this thing, but uh, I have it now. I'm the owner. Hey, look, I have a new pet too. Look at that. That's funny. Oh. <laughs> I've been waiting to get a hard clue scroll. I can finally open one. Of course I get a magic short bow. All right. All right, that was a slap in the face, but I got an enchanted hat, so at least I can look like an idiot uh, whenever I want. I don't know if it's out yet, but uh, I'm just never gonna wear it. It's gonna collect dust in the bank, but hey, look at me! It's been a long grind. We got 50 rune crafting, and now we've got 63 smithing. Big thanks to everyone who, who tuned into all the streams I did uh, while mining all of this. We can drink a, a cool dwarven stout, like the, the tier 2 dwarven stout, whatever it is, and get to 65, and we can now do devious mines. This quest came out on December 19th, 2005. Kind of notorious because it's extremely short, it's got crazy requirements, and this quest really doesn't do anything for anyone. I would not be surprised if this quest was the least completed quest in the entire game. But that's not how we roll, baby! We're by release, we're doing it. This is like the Sarah Daman version of the- Oh, okay, as I'm talking about how cool he looks, the bat goes over him, thank you. It looks like the Sarah Daman version of the Elder Chaos robes. They should put this in the game. He said the monks are facing new threats, 
He needs a special weapon. That special weapon is a mithril two-handed sword combined with a bowstring to make a, a bow sword. We've got to head over to our boy Doric and use his anvil. It's like a really cool anvil. I'm, I'm pretty sure I haven't been here since I was free to play. All right, let's sip this thing and put that there. Grinding. And there we go. Attach a string. We got a bow sword. It won't let me wield it, though. I just get this. It's a bow and a sword. How am I supposed to use this? It's not It's not a bow. It's not a sword. It's It's both. I, what am I supposed to do here? Where do I hold it? Do, do I shoot arrows from it? Do I slash people? I'm, I'm confused. Here's your weapon of mass destruction, sir. Can you teach me how to use it? It's a foreign design. Maybe, yeah, fuck, fuck you. wonder if you could do me one final favor. Wait, this sounds familiar. That was a reference line. That was good. That was a good... He just gave me this sketchy orb. He wants me to put it in a large rune pouch, which I have here. And then we have to go do something in the abyss to it. I have no idea what this is gonna do. I have no idea what I'm holding, but you know me. I'm just doing things. I'm just a good guy. I don't ask questions. I just do things for people. <laughs> this always looks so scary. Basically, what we're doing is using the law altar as a secret passageway into Entrana. So we're gonna go in here. Ah, oh, look at look at us. Since the altar is on Entrana, we just leave this, and here we are. Hey, monks, I have a skull on my head. Please ignore it. I do not kill people, I promise. I'm gonna use this right on here. Oh, cutscene, baby. What's going on? What is that? Sack of potatoes or something? What was he holding? Holy shit, it's a ninja! He just murdered that man and he just sniped that man. Yup, there he goes. Down for the count. He stole a relic. Adventure, you must find the fool who put that teleport beacon on the altar. Ah, uh, yeah, about that. Uh, what are you trying to say? I did it. Uh, I thought it was from one of you people. What do you mean, you people? The monks did it. Uh, yeah, so I just fucked up. I don't know what I did. I don't know who that ninja guy was, uh, but he came out. He killed a bunch of people in a church. Very uh, questionable thing to do in the first place. Uh, this is how I feel. Okay, I just got back over here and... Uh, this monk is dead. He appears to have been killed by powerful magic. I'm gonna go ahead and take a wild guess that this is not the guy I talked to earlier. I feel like I should start asking a lot more questions before I do favors for people. Every time I'm in this area, I do something I'm not supposed to do. I'm a walking hazard in this area. God, the tension when I walked in this building is unbelievable. I'm letting the high priest know that I found a dead guy where I talked to the, the mysterious monk. He's a little concerned. He wants me to go talk to certification in Falador. Yeah, he, uh, he already knows about the situation. He's got a lot of intel everywhere he goes. They're investigating the design of this weapon that I made from scratch. I think I can just kind of tell them what I did, but uh, there we go. That's Devious Minds, and that is where that story ends. This storyline was not continued in Old School RuneScape. There is a citation that says Modmark stated that Devious Minds had the shortest development time of any quest released since RuneScape Classic. Another situation where a developer left before it was complete, which is a damn shame because it looked like they were going to implement a bow sword into the game. Hopefully they'll revisit this storyline and we can start shooting and, and slicing at the same time. It'll be badass. We have officially completed all 29 quests that were released in 2005. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 2006. The feeling of going on to a new year never gets old. There's a ton of 2005 content I have not gotten to yet, like Barrows and Fire Cape, all that. We'll go revisit it, but for now I've got my eye on quest number 100. But yep, here we are, January 10th, 2006, quest number 96, The Hand in the Sand. We're in Yanil, we're gonna go over to Bert's house over here and see what's going on. Right off the bat, he's telling me he is certain he's about to lose his job. Apparently Apparently he's found a hand in the sand. It's like the it's like the name of the quest. He found it in his little sand pit over there. He hasn't told the authorities about this yet because they're all hammered all the time and he doesn't see a point. Luckily for him, dealing with alcoholics is our specialty. Not an issue. We'll report this cut off hand ourselves. Check out this expertise. This is how much I know. I'm gonna buy a beer beforehand because I know for a fact that this captain's not gonna talk to me until I get him hammered. He's already hammered, but he needs to function. He needs to be able to conversate. I have some more beer for you. <laughs> That's... That's how I'm starting it. You give the beer, he takes a huge gulp. Just what I needed. Yeah, I know. I'm just waving a hand in his face. Whose is this? Have you seen his hand? He's blaming the wizards. Go interrogate one of them pointy hat fox. Oh, apparently he dropped the hand in his beer. It's a beer-soaked hand now. I'm glad I'm carrying this in my in my backpack. <laughs> you wave the hand at the wizard. There's just beer sprinkling everywhere on the floor. I'm just waving a a human hand around. I don't think my guys ever picked up a social cue or understood what's acceptable. Just kind of does his thing. I like him. You hand it over. Do you have any input as to the matter at hand, dude? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what is that sound? That's, that's kind of hot. I like that. Little clocks. Okay. God damn, okay. 
Down a year, nail in the magic gill. Bird pipe down, man, I know how you feel. About to lose your job, but you gotta be a man. We gon' find out whose hands in the sand. Jim, I just want the shit to pay off. But now a dead guy gonna get me laid off. Water won't work, can't pay my bill. Plus, this whole damn town gonna think I kill. Shut up, Bert, just let me do the quest. Hand belongs to Clarence, I'ma put this to rest. Went to Brim Haven, had a talk with Sandy. That's Bert's boss. This bitch smelled like brandy. I got damn Bert. He's playing you, lying about your hours, this man ain't paying you Pick the shitty pocket, now I understand Pull my hand out, there's a shitload of sand I don't get it, cause I just wanna dig up all the sand And he just don't let me, don't let me, don't let me Goddamn, this dude colder than a blizzard You're under a spell, so I'm going to the wizard I'ma kick his ass, I'll get Sandy's confession I'll get the truth while I teach him a lesson I made this drink, it's just a little potion Take a whiff, ooh, that shit is potent When he takes this, he cannot tell a lie Can't wait for him to say that he's been sleeping with a guy Never mind, went back to first work Slipped it in his tea, took a slurp How the hell did he not see? Yo, Sandy, yelled at him like his parents That's right, bitch, now tell me why you killed Clarence Ah... Just didn't wanna pay that guy You talking about Bert? You don't wanna pay my man Bert? Fuck you! He kept looking at my eye I'll look at your eye right- Oh, your, eye, your eyes actually fucked up And he knows that I am blind uh, That's still kinda of funny Fuck you dude, you're a bad guy have fun in prison, Sandy, and don't drop the soap Trying to frame my boy Bert, depriving him of hope By release, buddy, you remember that name I heard his body parts all over the game Wait, what? What did you just- uh... You gotta start looking for- You hit his body parts, his arms, head- Are you fuck- It's- they're everywhere, man. Oh Good my luck. god. Well, I don't know what all that was about, but, uh, I could buy runes up here now. I was supposed to be able to buy these forever ago. Thank god. January 23rd, 2006, quest number 97, Anakra's Lament. You know, in all my time playing this game, I've never actually died from thirst, but it still freaks me out every time I'm I'm over here. Like, I feel like I'm gonna die of thirst, no matter how many water skins I have on me. Speaking of which, I'm pretty sure I forgot to bring them. I don't know, it just, it freaks me out, dude. I feel like I'm always gonna die somehow. <laughs> Alright, I'm south of the bandit camp. Should be a dude here. Lazim. Lizim, Lizim, L. It's my boy L. This guy used to be a great sculptor, and then he had some sort of incident, so he can't hold a chisel anymore, therefore he cannot sculpt anymore, and we happen to stumble upon him as he needs assistance. Not only are we going to sculpt for him, we're gonna gather the rocks for him too. There's a little quarry over here, it's got sandstone, limestone, all the rocks that you could dream of chiseling and hitting with a sharp needle stick. First things first, 32 grams of sandstone. Dude, I just mined for so long getting 32 grams exactly. Exactly, and I was fucking mining granite the whole time. I didn't even look. Somebody help me. Okay, there's sandstone. The rocks are just so similar in color. How could I have known? I mean, I guess I could have, you know, just hovered my mouse over to see that it was granite, but he's still. Okay, he's got that. He's alking? Did he just alk my shit? Did he just alk my sandstone? Okay, he made the base of the statue. Oh, wow, I can't believe I had that in my backpack. That is huge. All right, I just finished the body, and now I have to pick what head I want on the statue. Can I make a statue of me? I think it should be my head. Are you mad? No. I, I made a camel head. Let me have a look at that head. <laughs> okay. Said he'd make the statue head look like me. What? Dude, I'm so confused what just happened. I'm so lost. Okay, I made the statue look like him. Hey, look at that. And it's, uh, fucking gone. Oh, and we're falling too, why not? Okay, so this guy apparently made me build and sculpt a statue so that it would fall into this. Why couldn't we just push giant fucking boulders on it or something? I put so much detail into it. Okay, all right, here's the logic behind the whole uh, statue thing. There's doors all around this floor. Instead of keys to get into them, you need limbs. And the limbs of the statue fit the sizes of the doors somehow. I don't know how this guy knew that. We're gonna get the limbs from the statue and, uh, Go open doors. Okay, so this quest had a ton of lore in it, so I'm gonna do my best to explain what happened because it was really hard to follow. So we go into the first cutscene at the first door. This is Anakra. She just finished building this temple for her lord. I'm assuming that's Zamorak. She's a uh, Majorat. God, these fucking words are so hard to 
pronounce all of them, every single word in this game. Pretty much around this temple, we're getting the backstory about why this place exists. There's these little letters around the corners of the room. They, um, I don't know what they're spelling. Ow, my head. I'm pretty sure I'd bash my head on the door every time I try to open one. Black and white, once again, faded film. They're the Knights of, uh, the Avarakians. Avarakians? I don't know. I don't know what that means. Uh, she is showing them that she has completed Desert Treasure. F for Avaraka, apparently. We need to pay our respects. That's a gamer reference. Arg. Yeah, so those knights tried to stop Anakra and she was like, nah, it's... I'm gonna keep doing this. Yeah, I just gave myself the third concussion in 15 minutes. Camel God Guy, Ath uh, Akthonikos. This camel guy is on the side of Zeros, and Anakra is uh, a Zamorak person. Camel Guy was like, you'll join us, right? And she's like, of course. And then uh, she's like, <laughs> you know, I'm presuming she was just kidding. <laughs> Oopsies. And here we have her uh, casting some spells on Bones, and she's made a level one skeleton saying it's gonna make a good weapon, and now it's Bones again. It's not gonna make Make a good weapon at all. And that's that's that one. Now we've got all the letters. We're gonna go in the center room right here and, and place all the letters where they belong. I went upstairs. There were puzzles up here. I didn't bring any soft clay, so I had to go back to get that. I shot some fire at this frozen fountain and unfroze it. Now it's a normal fountain. There was this warrior guy over here who's stuck in place. He's been here for centuries. His family's dead, but his biggest complaint is that he's hungry, so we gave him a cake, and now he's feeling a little more optimistic about things. I cleaned a damn chimney. I set some uh, braziers on fire over here. It was a little dark, lighting the mood. I spent like 20 minutes and realized I needed to make another mold thing that was in the shape of a camel's head so I can make a camulet. I shoved it into this thing, got another concussion. Yeah, this is Anakra, uh, betraying and Don Coast. Ice Barrage. Uh-oh. Hey, L, what are, you, what are you doing up here? I went upstairs and there was a bone guard. I cast that one spell that uh, dead things hate, and he was immediately free from his curse. I guess I did him a favor. I got downstairs and whoa, another big asshole standing as still as a fucking statue. I kind of fucked around in the room a little bit, started picking up rocks. As it turns out, the way to get past this part was to impress him with our defensive abilities. And what I mean by that is I needed to pray melee. But here's the goofy part. I didn't charge my prayer at all. So I left the temple for the third time and went and charged my prayer. I came back, let him try to beat the shit out of me three times and he failed and he was like, that is awesome. So I repaired this wall behind him. Anakra was like, no, what did you uh, do that for? Bone guy was uh, free and uh, whoa, it's camel guy. He's got human sandals though. It was kind of thrown off. So that wall I just built got fucking blown to smithereens. Glad I did that. Anakra said that this camel's gonna pay and then they both turned into their Majorat skeleton forms. Skeleton battle. I'll be waiting for you in the north. Okay, so yeah, that happened. Uh, they're planning their fight, and I stood there, got my scroll, wondering, uh, what the hell just happened? <laughs> I got 62 crafting, and apparently there's gonna be two skeletons fighting in the north if anyone wants to go and catch that bout. There we have it. All right, February 7th, 2006, quest number 98, Cabin Fever. This one's actually a great quest. We get to be a pirate. Going down a little bar over here, we're gonna talk to Bill Teach. He said he needs a pirate to help him solve his problems. I'd love to be a pirate. I'm saying a lot of pirate terms to this guy. He's heading down to Mostly Harmless. It's a great pirate hangout, but yeah, he's running into trouble on his way there. Another group of pirates keeps trying to sink his ship and he's by himself. His whole crew deserted him, that's messed up. But I'm thinking me and him sail and we take on all the pirates, every single one. I've got a huge sword, I've got dragon plate legs now. There ain't a goddamn pirate in this world that can stand a chance against me. We just set sail and the other pirates have already found us, hence the hole that's in the ship now. They're just shooting at us, they're blowing holes everywhere, they broke our cannon, things are not looking good so far. It doesn't look like it's flooding anything actually, maybe it's not a problem. Oh, another hole, perfect. So before we patch the holes up, I need to get across to their ship and take out their cannon. God damn, I look heroic up here, look at this. Look at, look at me. Look let me go. Check out this move. It's gonna be really hot. I'm gonna Indiana Jones across. Whoa! Good evening. I think I'm pretty close to a defense level. I might just train here. This is multitasking at its finest. I'm gonna blow it up while hitting this guy. Maximum efficiency, baby. Hey, you like that, don't you? Kabloom? Kabam? I blew up their cannon. <laughs> they have no way of firing at us now. In reality here, we can just set sail and leave. But that wouldn't be fun at all. We're gonna kill them and, and steal from them and, and then we'll leave. Just gonna patch these holes up real quick. Oh my god. It's perfect. We're good to go. Before we sink these bastards, we're putting a little salt in the wound. We're gonna steal their money. Plundering, baby. That's my middle name. Buy plunder 
release, they call me. I'm gonna train while I wait for their plunder to respawn. I'm gonna take this guy out. He looks important. He's slightly more red than everybody else. Eye patch, baby. That's right. Now we're the real deal. That's so disrespectful. Kill a pirate, take his eye patch, and that's 63 defense, by the way. They're gonna know my name across the seven or six seas. Another eye patch? Jesus Christ. Oh, they're gonna hate this. Fire! Yeah. Go! This is what life's all about right here. This is for the boys back home. Boo! Okay, I shot three. Do I need to keep going? Yeah, one more. Why not? Yeah. They're sunk now. Uh, I'll take your word for it, man. We made it to Mostly Harmless. I'm getting a lecture about not, uh, speaking pirate. It's very politically incorrect, apparently. He's giving me a book. Oh, I, I can learn how to be a pirate from it. Or at least talk proper like one. Thank you so much, dude. God, I just can't get over how good I look. And, uh, there we go. 7k smithing, 7k crafting, and 7k agility XP. That is not bad. I am not complaining. Oh, and 10k. Why not? On to quest number 99. February 27th, 2006, Fairy Tale Part 1, Growing Pains. This is the first part of the true fairy saga after Lost City, which also means I'm getting close to finally unlocking fairy rings. <laughs> I am so excited to be able to use those things. We're starting off by talking to Martin over here. By release, you look familiar. Didn't I catch you going through my pockets? <laughs> no! What the hell's your problem? Why would you say that. I guess there's some issues going on with the plants and the way they're growing around RuneScape. There's something... Something going on, something fishy. We're gonna run around this game a little bit and consult other farmers and see if they have any idea what's going on of why these plants aren't producing enough crops. It's amazing that this entire world survived without farming for so, so long. They discovered it last year. Now there's a big problem going on with it already, jeez. What would this world do without a guy like me? Be dead. Everyone would be dead. Frizzy is blaming the lack of crops on the river levels. Elston is blaming the insects. That's, uh, that's his take. Thanks, Elston. Heskel's having an existential crisis about this whole thing, acknowledging that adventurers dig up her patch and plant their own trees here. Oh my god, you're an adventurer, they're all adventurers. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we all look the same to you? Yeah, okay, Heskel. We see you now. We see you loud and clear, Heskel. It'd be a shame if I dug up some of your tweets from 2012. You'd hate that. Tresnor here is blaming the seasons being mixed up. The seasons apparently forgot which order they're supposed to come in. Uh, this guy's a fucking idiot. Faith here is keeping a third eye open, saying that it's fairies doing all of these things that the gardeners have said. The fairies control everything natural from weather to seasons. Uh, my guy clearly thinks she's a loony bin, but we'll go report everything we've learned to Martin, essentially telling him that everyone has no idea what the hell's going on, and we've made zero progress. Martin's actually a big fan of the whole fairy idea, so we're gonna go to Xanaris and, uh, see if they know anything, perhaps? I just stumbled across Rippet the frog. He's just standing out here with the frogs, not saying a damn word, not doing anything. This is the most interesting man I've ever met. Good luck out there, Ribbit. You make me proud. And here we are. We're gonna talk to the fairy godfather. The fairy queen's supposed to be around here, but she's not. It's this guy. The fairy queen is sick right now. There was this thing that came down called a tangle root. Started causing a ruckus, ruining all the farming things. The fairy queen went to kill it. Something went wrong, and now she's sick. And now the fairy godfather's here filling in. He also warned me not to cause trouble for the folks here while I'm around. I just gave him a question mark. <laughs> Found fairy enough. She's taking care of the fairy queen. There's she is, looking real sad. You must be a mighty healer. Uh, no. A great druid? No. A shaman? No. A surgeon? No. A doctor, medic, nurse? No, no, and no. I'm a mighty adventurer. A uh, fuck you. <laughs> a mighty adventurer. No, I heard you, but fuck you. Oh. Fair enough decided to let us help anyway. We need to go find a guy named Xandar Horfire. Apparently he studies magic illness, which is what the fairy queen has right now. So we're gonna go find that guy and see if he knows literally anything. Ah, this place is pretty. Look at all these dark wizards. What are you guys up to? Hey, you attacked my brethren and I. I don't recall that ever. I guess I have to go talk to a guy named Malignus Mortifer. He's that sketchball with those elemental wizards outside of Falador, kind of near like Remington, Port Ceremaria. You'll know him. You'll know him when you see him. Apparently, he's fought a tangle root in the past and knows all about him. Hey, look, here he is. So this guy knows how to beat up a tangle foot. He's fought one before and killed it. I'm just filling him in on the situation, telling him about how the Xanaris fairy queen person is basically sick right now and, uh, if we want his help, we need to go to the Drainer Manor. He wants us to take the skull from the grave in the backyard. I guess that's what we're gonna do. My god, a champion. Wow. Now this is a hero. Doom Wizard 28. Well, I love you, Doom Wizard. Just say it back. 
What the fuck? Man, I'm so sad that I'm gonna do a shameless plug for all my social media to get uh, love and affection from all of you. I can't believe I'm about to do this. Dude, maybe that is my character's uh, catchphrase. And I just shit on rat catchers for it. I mean, this is definitely more acceptable context for that sentence. If we want to kill the Tanglefoot, we got to get a pair of enchanted secateurs. We need to make them with white berries, Mortmeyer pear, and a Mortmeyer stem. We have to take it to the nature spirit and ask him to perform the ceremony of Phasma Phasmatis Natura. A lot of big words, a lot of scary words, a lot of craziness going on. Let's just uh, go do it. I already had some white berries in the bank. I just got the Mortmeyer stem. Oh my god, finally. It took forever to get a pear. All right, we got everything. It's our boy, the nature spirit. He's going to do this little ceremony. Hey, hey, this is cool. Wow, you're a good guy. Thank you. All right, we got enchanted secateurs. It's a weird word. Secateurs. All right, let's uh, let's go kill a Tanglefoot. I've made the descent. I'm ready for battle. Gatekeeper, you are a terrifying looking fuck. Let me through. Look at his hands, dude. Oh my god. Okay, we're in it. This place is disgusting. Baby Tanglefoot. He's just already just spawning babies. These walls make me uncomfortable. What the fuck am I looking? Ew. It's like actually makes me uncomfortable. Okay, where are you? Come here. I'm killing you so you can leave forever. You're a gross thing. God, this battle's so epic, dude. I'm gonna go get a drink. One second. I'll be right back. I got some cranberry juice. God, I love cranberries. Is this done yet? Are we done? Fucking just kill him. Oh, thank God. Oh my God. Queen secateurs. Can I just keep these? Give her the green ones. All right, Godfather. I uh, took care of business. <laughs> Gave him an offer he couldn't refuse, you know? <laughs> Like the movie. Now that we have these things back, he says that the Fairy Queen's gonna be good again, and we finish the quest. But you know, it's it's just part one. This is only part one. So I'm assuming she's not gonna be as good as we think she's gonna be, <laughs> but tune in. But ladies and gentlemen, this just means that we have arrived to quest number 100. The next time I see you, we will be taking on Recipe for Disaster.